Okay. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamualaikum and very good day to everyone Okay, so we continue our lecture For the last chapter which is Heating and power rating of motor drive Okay, so This content This chapter content is First introduction, thermal consideration Standard temperature inspiration table Thermal model of motor and lastly, classes of motor duty. Okay, consists of continuous, short time, intermittent, periodic duty, intermittent, periodic duty with starting, and lastly, intermittent, periodic duty with starting and breaking. So these classes of uh, motor du uh, duty, okay, we covered uh, for this chapter for this uh, syllabus. Uh, but actually, there are a uh, few types of uh, classes, okay, motor duty, but we not cover our chapter okay for our syllabus right so as an introduction the power rating of a motor for a specific application must be carefully chosen to achieve economic with variability okay so we have to choose our motor rating carefully okay uh, in order to achieve okay, economic and variability okay so that the, uh, the motor can operate uh, longer than it's not easily broken right so use of a motor having insufficient rating will cause fails to drive the load at its normal product productive level can okay, lower the productivity and availability through frequent damage and shutdowns due to the overloading of the power of the motor and power modulator so this is uh, the the causes of uh, if we not carefully choose the right rate rating, so we are going to face uh, this this okay, difficulties. It fails to drive the load, get okay, lower productivity, and so on. Okay, so if the if power rating is decided liberally, the extra initial cost and extra loss of energy due to operation below rated power makes the choice and economic and economical. Okay, so actually. The main point here is you have to choose the right rating for the right motor, okay, uh, or the right rating for for motor for a specific application. Okay, so thermal consideration, okay, unavoidable power losses cause temperature increase uh, increase, okay, unavoidable power losses causes temperature increase. Insulation used in the winding are classified based on the temperature it can withstand. Okay, so this is uh, the, okay, the important choosing the insulation types. Okay, because of uh, different insulation, different temperature it can withstand. Okay, depending on the temperature limits, insulated material employed in the electric mission are divided into classes, which is YA. E, B, F, H, and C. So this is uh, the classes that okay uh, produced by the okay, international standard. Eh? Motor must be operated within the allowable maximum temperature. Otherwise, it will lead okay to its immediate thermal breakdown, causing causing short circuit and damage to winding. Okay to deterioration of its quality re resu resulting into thermal breakdown in near future okay, source of power losses okay, conductor heat core loss and friction loss okay, so this is uh, source of power losses okay, so it will lead to temperature increase right so this is uh, the standard temperature insulation table okay, so it's divided into a few classes Okay, uh, for example, for class Y, the maximum temperature is 90 degree. So, the example material use is cotton, silk, paper, wood, without impregnated. Okay, and then another example is class A. So, the maximum temperature is 105 degree. And then the material use is cotton, silk, paper, paper suitable, impregnated. Okay, and then so on you can you guys can uh, read by yourself okay up until classes H okay so the maximum temperature is 180 degree okay combination of material mica class and fiber asbestos 
so actually uh, okay, uh, to we have to determine the maximum temperature and also the classes because of uh, this material use is different okay so it's not not material uh, suitable for all classes okay for example okay, if uh, actually uh, for class y we can use okay combination of material mica class fiber and asbestos okay but in terms of cost uh, it will be uh, a waste right? so because of uh, this material is uh, okay more expensive and then in terms of uh, the efficiency of the okay, of the motor will be uh, decreased okay, because of this uh, material is not suitable for this class alright so actually you have to choose the right material okay uh, by referring its maximum temperature okay so this is the thermal model of a motor Okay, electrical machine will be overloaded when the temperature exceeds the temperature limit. Okay, accurate prediction of temperature distribution in machine is complex. Okay, heterogeneous materials, complex geometrical shape. Okay, so if we can remember the the shape of the motor, the machine, it is not uh, it's not uh, it's not like uh, this shape. Okay, the Berubah-ubah bentuk dia is not tetap lah. So it cause heterogeneous materials, which is complex ge geometrical shapes. Okay, so simplify assuming machine as homogeneous. Okay, so yang motor tu dia non homogeneous, which is uh, not uniform. Okay, so we simplify it. Okay, by assuming machine as a homogeneous, which is uniform structure body. Okay, uh, so like this one. So Okay, we can calculate the uh, P1 and P2 based on this uh, assumption. Okay, so P1 is the input part, input heat power. Okay, and then P2 is emitted heat power. Okay, so okay, actually we we okay, we assume assume our motor ataupun our machine as a homogeneous. Okay, so that we can Okay, calculate the power P1 and P2. Okay, if we not assume like uh, this one, okay, they akan susah lah. We, we difficult to uh, to estimate the power. Okay, so next is classes of motility. Okay, so based on this, this is the, the international standard code. Okay, categories various load time variation encountered in practice into 8 standard classes of duty. Okay, so for our chapter, for our syllabus, we just covered up until five. Ah, uh, up until five. Okay, so continuous duty, short time duty, intermittent periodic duty, intermittent periodic duty with starting, intermittent periodic duty with starting and breaking. So this is class classes of motor duty. So how the motor works. Okay, so for continuous duty, okay, operate at the constant load. Operate at a constant load torque at duration long enough for the motor temperature to reach steady state value. Okay, so because of its operate at constant load torque, so it will produce a constant motor loss. Okay, for example, application is paper mill, paper mill drive, okay, compressor, conveyor, centrifugal pumps and fans. Okay, so actually this type of uh, application we usually okay, operate at a constant eh? Okay, constant time and then at the constant load okay so the graph is look like this one so this is torque versus time so torque okay torque versus time so so it mentioned that this is constant torque so the the torque is constant the load is constant okay throughout the time and then this is temperature versus time so this is temperature this is time so as Okay, as at the beginning, okay, our uh, our motor will start to operate and then the temperature keep on rising. Okay, so when it uh, because of this is uh, constant top, so the temperature produced or is also constant. Okay, so this is okay, the first step is continuous duty. So it, it keep on continuous. It, uh, it keep on running okay, up until a certain time. 
so it call continuous duty it will produce the continuous auto loss okay so temperature actually it present the losses eh? temperature will present the losses okay so next one is short time duty okay time time of drive operation is considered less than the heating time constant okay so meaning that okay operation is shorter than heating time constant okay so it uh, the machine is allowed to cool off to ambient temperature before the motor is required to operate again so after it operating it operate at a certain time it will cooling down okay the motor will be turned off okay ataupun uh, it will running at no load okay until it uh, the temperature is uh, the, the temperature is cool off okay then uh, the motor will be will be operate again okay machine can be overloaded until the temperature at the end of loading time reach the presumable uh, limit uh, time limit okay example application is screen drive drive for household appliances okay turning bridge and many machine tools drive for positioning control so uh, so this is uh okay the the graph for short time duty so uh, the motor will only operate at okay, certain time okay and then this is the temperature okay uh at once at starting the temperature the temperature is keep rising and then after the the motor off okay, the temperature is cooling cooling down okay so this why like uh, the graph is looks like this okay so this one is uh, short duty okay short duty okay so next one is intermittent uh, periodic duty okay consists of periodic periodic duty cycle each consisting of a period of running at the constant load and a rest period okay neither the duration of running period is sufficient to raise the temperature to a steady state value nor the rest period is long enough for the machine to cool off ambient temperature okay, heating and machine during starting and breaking operation is negligible okay, example application is pressing cutting and drilling machine drive okay so this is uh, intermittent periodic duty Okay, so the running and then the rest running rest running rest so the temperature versus time is look like this so when the motor is running the temperature is rising and then when the uh, the temperature rise it will cooling off and it will uh, keep on repeating right so it mentioned that it consists of period uh, period of running at a constant load and a rest period so this is a rest period okay, this is running this is rest running rest running rest so right so next one is intermittent periodic duty with starting okay heat losses during starting cannot be ignored okay consists of a period of starting constant load and rest period with operating and rest period being too short for the respective steady state temperature to be at, uh, attained Okay, heating of machine during braking is considered to be negligible. Okay, mechanical brake are used for stopping or motor stop due to its own friction. Okay, example application is metal cutting and drive for fork lift trucks. Okay, so this this one is intermittent periodic duty with starting. Okay, so uh, at some motor we have to consider the starting, okay, the starting current. So this why lah. Uh, at this graph, uh, it consider because of during during starting, okay, uh, sometimes, okay, the the power losses is higher, okay, so starting, okay, and then running, and then rest, so it will keep on repeating, starting, running, and rest. So this is uh, the the temperature versus time graph. Okay, during starting, the temperature is rise, and then during running, the temperature is less, okay, it's less compared to during starting. And then uh, during rest, the temperature is keep on. Uh, okay, uh, it will going down. Okay, and then it will repeat. So next one is intermittent, and then the last one, eh, the intermittent periodic duty with starting and breaking. So heat losses during starting cannot be ignored. Same as uh, 
the previous one okay consists of period a period of starting constant load breaking period with a vertical breaking and rest period okay, with operating and rest period being too short for the respective steady state temperature to be attained example operation is man manipulator drive for electric suburban trains okay so yang this one okay consists of uh, breaking okay, start running and breaking start running and breaking so this is how the temperature looks like okay during starting okay and then during running the temperature keep on rising okay until it reach uh, breaking period period the, the temperature is going down and then it will repeat again so this is start running breaking and then this is rest eh? this is rest uh, period this is rest and then at during this time uh, the cycle is repeat again okay so this is uh, the okay the formula used uh, in this chapter okay t equals to tss a1 minus exponent negative t over th plus t not exponent negative t over th so what is t okay, t can be max or minimum temperature of the motor okay ts is steady state temperature Okay, T time for motor operates either loaded or unloaded condition. Uh, this T, eh? Okay, and then TH is time motor constant. So, usually for this one, okay, is, uh, we look at at its uh, data sheet. Okay, and then lastly, adalah T0. Okay, max or minimum initial temperature during no load condition. Okay, so this one is during no load. Okay, either maximum temperature or minimum initial temperature okay so this one it's mentioned that t t s s t non is different at every cycle condition okay i will explain further on the next example right thank you